Hello everyone, myself Devoshri Patra Karmukar, Assistant Professor of Electronics and Communication Engineering Department, Mallahum Institute of Technology, Bishnupur. Here I am going to give the presentation on application of electromagnetic wave in medical science. Introduction. Here the figure showing the electromagnetic spectrum and the ranges of X-ray, gamma ray, ultraviolet ray, visible light, etc. in terms of frequency and wavelength. MRI and RF or radio frequency. It is used to diagnose many problems and helps to identify tumors. MRI machine is used to produce images of soft tissues, fluid, fat and bone. It does this by producing a map which depends on the density of hydrogen in the body. The machine uses strong superconducting magnet with a magnetic field strength. Radio frequency ablation. Radio frequency ablation uses heat to destroy cancer cell. It uses a probe or electrode to apply an electric current to a tumor. The electrical current heats the cancer cell to high temperature which ablates the cells. The cancer cell dies and the area that being treated gradually shrinks and becomes scar tissues. Microwaves and microwave heat therapy. Microwaves have typically 300 MHz to 300 GHz frequency range. Hyperthermia therapy is a type of medical treatment in which body tissue is exposed to a slightly higher temperature to damage and kill cancer cells or to make cancer cells more sensitive to the effects of radiation and certain anti-cancer drugs. Endoscopy or keyhole surgery. It is mostly used to diagnose problems in the esophagus, stomach, intestine including ulcer, bleeding and tumors. Blue light jaundice treatment. Premature babies sometimes have jaundice. It is usually harmless but can be treated using blue light. The blue light breaks down the bilirubin so that it can be excreted as urine. Ultraviolet light in dental care. Ultraviolet light waves produces free radicals that activate the catalyst and speed up polymerization of the composite resin. Ultraviolet light against germs. Microbial sterilization using mercury vapor lamps which at specific wavelengths such as 254 nanometer can sterilize germs. X-ray and the body. Visible light photons are absorbed by the atoms that make up body tissues. X-ray photons have much more energy. A larger atom is more likely to absorb an X-ray photon in this way because larger atoms have greater energy difference between smaller atoms where the electrons orbitals are separated by relatively low jumps in energy are less likely to absorb X-ray photons. X-ray machine. The heart of the X-ray machine is the electrode pair, a cathode and the anode. The cathode sources accelerates electrons to a high speed and these electrons then collided with the tungsten. CT scan setup. CT scan or computerized tomography scan combines a series of X-ray images taken from different angles around your body and uses computer processing to create cross-sectional images of bones, blood vessels and soft tissues. Positron emission tomography Positron emission tomography or PET is a type of nuclear medicine procedure that measures metabolic activity of the cells of the body tissues. Thank you.